All right, welcome to today's video. We're on the countdown now. We're getting really, really close to the open house and it's getting a bit chaotic. So I thought I would bring everyone a little bit of liquid courage, also known as Starbucks Frappuccinos. Missile Chaser is about to go for its first test drive with the uh, new wheels and stuff. I'm excited. Oh my God. So good, dude. Where's the sunlight at? Sunlight's right here. Oh man, oh my god. So I think I'm gonna lower the front a little bit. Not uh, unfortunately for the open house because I know the car drives well right now, so I'm gonna leave it driving since we are gonna do some driving events. Um, but power steering feels good. We got the new R154, and uh, I'm gonna see how the new suspension feels with the BCs in the back. Climbing down this thing's still definitely a bit wonky. I need some adjustable uh, front upper control arms or something to adjust camber with because this car, um, the camber's a little bit off from being in an accident, so it kind of pulls on the road a bit. Uh, doesn't feel too bad though. Still not as fast as my car in Japan, but I think this gearing suits the car way better. Check out how long second is now. First is good. Between having good coilovers in the back, having working power steering, and way better gearing, this car is completely different now. So it should be a lot better for the track, and it looks great. But uh, like I said, Probably end up lowering the front down a little bit, but um, for the open house, probably I'll just leave it where it's at. All right, the R32 is pretty much back together now. Uh, all the arrows on, all the splitters are on. I put some spacers in the front. It still is not perfect tune-wise. I'm hoping I can get a chance to hop on Team Viewer later today with Jamie, but I'm not planning on really driving this car that much while everyone's down here. Uh, but it does finally look like a car again and not a paperweight. So it's looking good. Extra spacers in the front look good. The livery obviously still needs some more stickers, but since we ran out of vinyl, that's a problem, but um, got to stick up the rear bumper too, but finally looking like a car again. 50 Shades of White, that's this baby's nickname. Which is not bad. Got a little knock on the door and I thought I recognized this knock. Look who it is! What's up, Brody? The, usually you save the best for last, but the best showed up first. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, and we're in the 38. Now this isn't my like fanciest car, but it's probably one of my funnest to drive, so. You put an S52 in this now, right? Yeah, full M3 powered. I'm excited to drive it. Dude, you're gonna love it. Who, who'd you come here with? Uh, we brought, uh, B Hall's coming still. He's flying in tomorrow. Uh -huh. uh, Jip came with us and Mike from Divine Media. Are they both still sleeping in the truck? Uh, I think Jip's actually in the bathroom. Is he? He had a rough time. Oh. Bet. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd, I'd watch. Them. All right. Give me a little rev. It's a little cold. He says it's a little cold. Bounces off limiter. And cold? Don't do that. We're good. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> come on, come I'm just starting it. I want you to hear it wherever you are. I got him. It's not that loud. I don't trust you. I'm not gonna rub it. It's cold. It's cold. Alright, so next up on the list today is a steering shaft for the 370Z. This one's got quite a bit of play that makes it sketchy while driving. And then believe it or not, we're also actually gonna do some coilovers on this, but I need to explain why, because I was purposefully leaving the stock suspension, but I've decided to make the jump. All right, so we ran across the street and I was going to grab some coilovers for Z-Roy, but instead of just being in a rush, we decided to custom design a setup based on info they have from other high horsepower drift cars and drag cars that they've designed kits for to come up with our very own Z-Roy kit. So on the surface, it doesn't look like anything too special. These are the BR series coilovers, but inside we do have a set of full custom true coilovers for the Z. So before we get into specs or anything, it's important to note that on Zs, it is a spring bucket style, but most people will go to a true coilover just so you don't need to have the really expensive uh, adjustable lower arms when you do the switch. And these chassis can handle it. It's not like BMWs where it can get kind of dicey switching to a true coilover but these um, just kind of simplify things. So, so when you go to true coilover setup, the spring ratio changes, so the default on the BR kit would actually be a 5K spring, but we went a little bit stiffer because believe it or not, squat isn't the best thing in drag racing, which I recently learned. I thought that having a lot of squat would be a good thing, but you do lose a lot of potential energy 
in with uh, those really big tires you could possibly bottom out and it really unsettles the car having very soft and uh, I guess it comes down to valving a little bit too they're able to custom do the valving a little bit stiffer for me because the problem is with the valving soft like on stock suspension um, you kind of get on rebound uh, very soft and what tends to turn into a springy ride where this will kind of keep it from springing back up and will keep it a little bit more settled and planted so We've got our little bit longer stroke, which in an ideal world, uh, I guess you wouldn't want longer stroke on most of your street cars because you guys would want to slam it, but it doesn't matter for what we're using it for. And then in the front, like I said, we kind of just have standard. I'm kicking Jimmy out. I want your first reaction to be passenger because driver doesn't feel that fast. Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, you have uh, Jimmy that hasn't slept in 48 hours, so it's going to be a good time. Your new 335 is pretty nice, Adam. It kind of is a replacement for that car. Oh, we it's all know sad. It Whatever, that's, that, that's a monument. I think that this car is going to surprise you. Um, see, I, th here's an issue though, like, you gas it up to me so much, like, throughout the whole experience of you owning it, that, like, I'm expecting great things. It's really good. I'm pretty excited. It's not even as fast as, like, it could be. This thing ran. Yeah, because it's stock turbies, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Everything's great. I'm going to be cool about this. I got a cool, I got a cool guy, this one. I can't even really mention it. I'm surprised. I, I feel you wanted to like clutch kick it, but you can't because there's no clutch. I mean it. Oh, and he still goes for it. Yeah. <laughs> How does this compare to the giveaway Supra? Um, the giveaway Supra like pulls more up top, where this one's kind of like tiny turbo falls on its face mm -hmm. if you don't short shift it. Um, but like you know, first through third, I think they're about the same. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that one I think makes it a little bit more traction because it doesn't just slam you with torque, you know. All right, we'll do another pulley ready. Yep, put it back. <laughs> She's out. It's not a bad. You know what it is? And he just keeps going. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, first issue. I trust you way too much, so that kind of really throws everything out the window. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, the, I like how it's like, it's like new and comfy, but yeah, like it is raw. Yeah, when you drive it too, like for an automatic car, like it's very like, it sucks because like all these like fun videos I've made with my friends driving the Supra, like it's not the most exciting car in the world to watch on video, mm -hmm. but it's such a cool car to get to experience. I'm excited. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll flip a Yui. Oh, <laughs> yo, dude, legit every time I get in and out of the car. Is that a turn signal on a BMW? Mm. Yeah, that was the one mod they added to make it a Toyota. Dude, it's torquey. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, it does it for me? Yeah, well, if you want to go into manual, I'll just do this. Now you're in manual, you gotta use pedals. Love it. Love the rice. Can you turn that off, or is that like. Yeah, that's only in sport mode. Okay. <laughs> Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Watch this guy. I love that bump. Wow, and it's just like in and you're like instantly at 80. And yeah. you're like, oh, where'd that go? Sorry, officer. You know what the best thing is? 30 miles to the gallon, like ripping. Yeah, I see you like raging on it. It says we have 22 miles per gallon. That's sick, right? How does that even? Pump gas, dude. That's the future, baby. So as you call not the 85. Have people put these on ethanol yet? Uh, so it's direct injection. No one can really get the proper fuel out of it. A lot of people are running E30, but like I guess there's a company that makes an upgraded um, pump to possibly run E85, but it hasn't really been tested that much. So well, by next year, we'll probably have everything, so. Well, someone will do a port injection kit on these, which I know a bunch of companies are already doing, and then mm -hmm. no fueling issues. There we go. So like, I can take this home, right? Like, you need this back in kind of gear. No, this is the, the next giveaway car, so, and you won the giveaway. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, but. What's his reaction? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah? It's so much harder. Oh, is that that dude in white? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I, I pointed to the Civic. Whoops. Oh, well, you know what? Tell the Civic people it's gonna be okay. <laughs> but you look good in that, man. I almost got one. I was close. Let's trade. You will be so underwhelmed by that. It, yeah, because this thing's quick, dude. All right, someone's on the way with some parts for Z-Roy, but this is how I've been driving. The car normally is supposed to have a steering shaft like this, so zero play, but where it normally rests, it's worn out. Look at the play it has. That's the player sitting on the steering on the steering wheel. 
That translates to a lot of movement on the steering wheel. Great example of how a little bit of play translates to a lot of movement. Look how much movement it is, like, on the wheel, like. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> Feels very dangerous. It's like, you know, in the, in the movies where they're going like this down the road, but going straight? That's how it feels. Where it's like Marco's van. <laughs> So much stuff going on. I spent some time trying to get the crazy cart styled in so they all got some new wheels and tires and they should be ready to rip. I'm just talking a lot because I don't want to get copyrighted by the music in the background so I'm trying to drown out the noise with my own voice. Pablo assassined me. Hey, go home pizza boy. I'm taking the pizza with me though. You got the goods? Yo, pop the strong dog. We've been waiting for you for like Dude, 30 were, hours. There were six pizzas weren't ready and then they had no two liters so I had to go to Walgreens, look like a peon in this thing. like. Relax, bro. Relax. Hey, you're gonna scare the pizza. Why would you put ice next to the? Because there's too hot. I don't want you to burn your mouth. Oh my god. No, I'm just kidding. You're good. Thanks, dog. Hey, look, we just rolled up with the second best GTST on YouTube. Yo, we're here. You don't have a GTST. Well, I I built one that was better than yours. You just gotta do it. <laughs> about to go test the Z out, Jip. You wanna come for a ride? So. All right, we'll see what uh, what you think about it. Uh, yeah. What do you think? I'm about to let you know. We got a lot of warm up first. Okay. We did about the fireworks. It's like Fourth of July, dog. It's weird. The car feels so much more planted now that it's got a steering column that's not super loose, not jagged. Proper suspension. Jimmy was looking at my tune and I had a kind of a revel, 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 revolution. A rel, uh, I think my VTC is not working because it normally it clicks and stuff while I idles and that would explain kind of what it's doing. I guess what it's not doing right now. It's not clicking, is it? Yeah, it might be, it might be stuck on. Oh. Is it freeing up? No, the chip's just messing everything up. I didn't even move it. Are you kidding? You know what we could do? We could go we test. Could the it, oh, the. Do, v do uh, Neo cars have VTC or is it a different? No, they have it. Well, we could test on his. All right. The, for demonstrative purposes, this is some junk RB25 we found. We used a car that actually worked. <laughs> All right, everyone. everyone shut the f Ready? Yep. That's what it should sound like. Ready? Non VT. Oh, oh. All right, and we'll show you guys what mine sounds like. So, obviously, mine's external, so it's over yeah. here and it sends oil actually directly. As much as you can, because I think this thing's covered in oil. Yeah, this I think it's like it's leaking from the plug. No, it literally. So you gotta make sure you get, this This must be an early style one, because uh -huh. see how it's a different uh, plug in Tommy's? Yep. So just make sure when you get one. His is the Neo. His it's is like the Neo. It's like zapped and punching you directly in the eye. Right. <laughs> you see it fucking. You guys hear that? I saw the arc, but. Wait, shh, shh. No, no, you'll hear it. I know, that's the point, Adam Worf. I'm going along with you, dude. Hold on, smack it with something. Just give it a tap. You'll love tap. Use the so use give me a hammer. This, no, this ain't shit. Give me a hammer. Use the other end. Use it. No, no, you need no, solid. No, you hit me in the... 
All right, problem, fo problem found, problem found. I just need one now, and I don't have one, so that stinks. Ooh, actually, I know some of them might have one. There we go. All right, restart. Oh my god, I almost died trying to get it from up there, but look, that's the... Wait, is that my old head? Or is that yes. the head off? No, 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 Wait. that's the head off my dad's car. What? Or whoa, no, sorry, whoa, whoa. not my dad's car, the giveaway car. Sorry, yeah. too many cars. All right, we'll get... Uh, I haven't seen Ab Max right in a long time. Hey, I was gonna ask you to borrow your solenoid, but I just found one that I had on an engine that I didn't even know. Damn. Someone give All me right, whatever well, I need well, to you know. get this off. Uh, okay, thanks, yeah, someone get us some uh, vice grips. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn toolbox in the way, I can't I go in. Down. Team effort. LZ shit. Mike's Fast the one faster. doing it. Faster! Mike's the only faster. one that knows how to use an adjustable wrench around here. Well, it's, it's very, very similar. Come on, Mike, like a boy. Oh, look at you. Oh, so you see that link? Sweat the wow. Like the slap Jack Frost got some tricks. They call it the slap and tickle. He unfroze it. He unfroze it. All right, let's it. test it. <laughs> you win. So if you guys are curious how this works, you put the power probe and it goes click, click, boom. Click, 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 boom. That's the song, right? Can you click it outside the All right, there's so much happening right now. Oh my God, let's get this in there. Well, let's let's do a little quick glow up on this thing. She filthy. Yo, the focus on the G7X is so bad. All right, so clamp one. Yep. Click. Oh, Boom. Is that gonna shoot? I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Needs to focus first. Ooh. Oh, she clicking. I think it's clicking. Yo, if she's clicking. I'm hitting. Yo, yeah. There's <laughs> stuff coming out. Really? Hold on. Something focusing. I remember my first time using a camera. Oh, you can see it. You can kind of. There you go, Chip. Dude. Let's not break it. We're doing a transplant. We gotta do this seamlessly and quickly. Hold on. Ready? All right. All right. Yep. Yep. All right. Scalpel. This is never going. Oh, we need it. Oh yeah, you got go the faster. Hammer. Faster. Quick. Quick. We're dropping blood pressure. It's a go, 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 go. go. I didn't leak anything. I know it was a joke. <laughs> That's a bad joke. You're a bad joke. <laughs> that is a bad joke. <laughs> All right, now she's finna hitting. What, dude? She's hitting fitting. Wait. It'll work right Yeah. You did the fix all. The fix all. Yeah, we might need to put the timing back to where it was, though. It's not going to adjust the pressure timing. What? No, no, but remember how I told you before it was at 20 at 10? Sure. Guys, we're, we're losing blood pressure here. Oh. Let's see how they like it. Dude. Not bad, the, right? The picture you took on Twitter yeah. made these look super small. It's not bad, right? No, What's that noise? Thin. Did you bring an air mattress? That's Jimmy Fit. Oh. That's the ultimate. Yeah, this, this is Jimmy Fit. I think I'll fit. Let me, let me, let me get the review. I'm you slept in the back Just of your hop, truck, hop. you're good here. It's your bed, dog. Thanks, man. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Come on, scoot your head back. Oh no, I, I, a full, I'm a full ass man, and I sit right here. All right, bet. TJ's gonna be on the top bunk when he comes in tomorrow. So I just could just, oh man. Can I move? <laughs>